The XT250 has been a staple in Yamaha's dual sport lineup since its debut in 1980. It was discontinued in 1991 in favor of the XT350. The XT250 returned in 2008 as an all-new model replacing the XT350, and in the US the beloved Yamaha XT225 also known for many years here as the Cerro which it is still called in many other countries. You might recall that 2008 was the same year Yamaha introduced the pricey WR250R, a comparatively sophisticated fuel-injected dual sport with fully adjustable suspension and USD forks that effectively ran the XT350 out of town while breathing new life into the returning XT250 which could be considered, for all intents and purposes an XT225 on steroids. While the WR250R was aimed at more experienced riders, the XT250 continued as Yamaha's recruitment tool for attracting new or returning riders wanting to learn how to ride or to have something just to bop around on. The XT250 got its next significant upgrade in 2013 when it received fuel injection. It has returned every year since as the same motorcycle just in different wardrobes. The XT250 has been one of Yamaha's best-selling motorcycles and for good reason. Many have discovered the XT250's many attributes. There are few more reliable and durable motors out there than the XT's 249cc air-cooled 4-stroke SOHC 2-valve single-cylinder powerplant. It has a reputation for being bulletproof, which is ideal for the recreational rider who would rather twist the throttle than twist a wrench. Keep the air filter clean and change the oil when you should and the XT's motor will easily outlive reruns of Everybody Loves Raymond. The XT250 makes unintimidating power, which is great for newbies and casual trail riders or for those wanting something fun and easy to execute those quick trips to the grocery store on. The XT holds a generous 2.6 gallons of fuel and with a claimed 76 mpg, just a few dollars will buy you many hours of good cheap fun on the little Yumi. Again there is nothing scary or intimidating at all about the XT's motor. The experienced rider would prefer more power, of course but the casual play rider or beginner who is just looking for something relaxing and easy going to cruise around and explore the hills on will love it for its user-friendly demeanor. Fuel injection is a huge bonus, compared to my wife's carbureted XT225, the fuel injected XT250 is far better even my wife, who doesn't know the difference between fuel injection and Botox injection can feel the difference, warm up as instantaneous and throttle response is much crisper and far more predictable. The XT250 has a 5-speed transmission that works in harmony with the XT's power delivery, but you'll quickly run out of gear on the open highway, which again for a motorcycle like this is expected. It tops out semi-comfortably around 60 miles per hour which is just good enough for those quick highway jaunts to get you to the next trailhead. Otherwise, steer clear of the freeways. Shifting gears is a challenge. The shift lever is tiny and positioned way too close to the foot peg, which might be okay for an infant but not for anyone with a foot larger than a size 2, at least clutch pull is ultralight and has a good feel. As with the shift lever, the rear brake pedal is also way too small and often as hard to find. Experienced riders will want more bite from the front disc but for beginners, there is plenty of recovery room when it comes to front brake mismanagement. A panic grab won't result in an automatic faceplant, initial bite is weak but pull harder and things will slow down rapidly and predictably, the back brake works just fine. Yamaha found a good compromise when it comes to the XT suspension. It's a little on the soft side overall but for the type of riders this motorcycle is intended for, I'd say Yamaha nailed it. For casual romps in the hills, the suspension is quite good for a wide variety of weight and there is some room for tuning via the shock spring preload and rebound damping adjustments.
At 32 inches seat height seems a little high on paper for a motorcycle such as this, but the XT is so narrow at the seat or tank junction that it is easy to firmly plant both feet on the ground. My wife is 5 feet 4 inch and could touch the ground with both feet, no problem. Some people might question why Yamaha didn't give the XT water cooling, but the lack of radiators helps keep the width of the bike down which results in a dual sport bike that is extremely easy to maneuver and move around on. The XT250 is not exactly light on the scales at a claimed 291 pounds but feels light and agile on the trail, it has a short 53.5 inch wheelbase and an extremely tight turning radius which can come in real handy on extremely tight and technical trails. Another nice but often overlooked attribute of the XT is ground clearance it has a generous 11 plus inches, which is a good thing considering the skid plate is invisible. Consider shopping for an aftermarket skid plate as one of your first purchases for the XT250.